As the entertainment venues continue to ramp back up to speed, a distinguished Hawaiian musician is taking things back to her roots in musical theater to perform a few intimate nights in Manoa Valley. Join us with the, this morning with more details about an intimate evening with Amy Hanaya'ali'i is the star herself, Amy Hanaya'ali'i. Good morning, Amy. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, good morning. Thank you for having me. Yes, it's our pleasure. Always great to see you and have you on our show. So, so Amy, everyone knows you as one of the premier Hawaiian artists in the world, but many don't know that you began your training as a performer in musical theater. So tell us, what did you actually study? Right. Well, you know, here in Maui, we had a really incredible theater community growing up. Um, so from high school, I received a full scholarship to study theater in San Diego. So I went to um, School of Performing and Visual Arts in San Diego, United States International University. Yeah. And that's fantastic. We had no ideas. And wow, so, so professional. Well, you've also performed many roles on stage. Is there a favorite one that you can share with us? Yeah, you know, I played many roles. I, I like really meaty female roles like um, uh, Katasha and the Mikado and Hello Dolly. And But my absolute favorite role that I got to play two times uh, was Ava Peron in Evita. Wow, fantastic. I'm going to have to uh, check that out in, uh, later. But also, you still use what you've learned in the musical theater in your performances that you do now. I do. You know, when I go on tour in Japan or uh, East Coast, West Coast, I do all my own lighting. Um, I actually have a tech person now, but it's all my vision. Um, I have a, actually a second degree in the, um, theater lighting. So that's actually one of my passions behind the scene is I love doing tech. And that's great. Literally a one-person show, Amy Hanaya. <laughs> he's so talented. Also, so t let's go to the meat of this interview. You've been performing a couple benefit concerts that's happening next week at Manoa Valley Theater. So tell us, what can the audiences expect? Well, you know, it's uh, there's going to be a lot of comedy. Um, I'm playing a lot of the roles that I've played. Um, Janet in Rocky Horror Picture Show and... Uh, I won't be in my underwear for that one, so just let everybody know. <laughs> um, but it's kind of just a chronological time of my career. There's some stuff mixed in there that I don't think a lot of people knew that I actually did. But um, yeah, you know, the theater community I grew up in Maui, um, when I got to school, we already knew how to build sets. We had to pound out nails because we didn't have money. You know, we didn't have microphones, so we had to sing super loud. I mean, <laughs> just the training I got in high school was invaluable at Baldwin High School Theater Guild from our director, Sue Ann Loudon. So when I went to school, um, it was kind of like fame or glee or um, high school musical on steroids. It was a pretty intense school that I went to. <laughs> yes, but all all worth it because now you're here, so talented, and doing this great benefit uh, concert. It's happening the 28th and 29th of March. Right. Amy Hanaya Lee, go join, get tickets over at Manoa Valley Theater. You can get it on their website. It should be a great one with lots of surprises. We didn't know all of her musical theater background, so it should be a great show. And we'll also have a little live preview right now. So without further ado. <laughs> Let's uh, send things over to Amy Hanayali. This is a role that I played, um, Eva Perón and Nivita. This is one of her songs. It won't be easy. You'll think it's strange when I try to explain how I feel that I still need your love after all that I've done. 